There's many threads in the way that artists use projection. So I use projection mapping and bringing video into space and architecture in a way that really shows what it's doing, that is very evident to the audience, the way an image is translated into a beam of light, which then strikes a surface and exists almost like a slice of that beam of light. I study comparative literature and philosophy, and I think that comparative practice of looking at narrative, looking at a constellation of meanings, and that is how I make videos. The way I use projection mapping in my own work is to consider that an image is elastic, an image is fluid, and when an image is projected into a space, the space and the image become one thing. There's a consideration of the architecture of the space, but also the social dynamic, how people are meant to interact with the work and with each other. My work recently has focused on issues of biodiversity and environmental change, specifically species loss. So I started to make work about that process of observing the change in the environment. Alias is a multi-channel video work that deals with the source of where Los Angeles draws electricity, which ranges very far and wide. In Alias, I travel to solar farms in Arizona to film that source of electricity. The way it's installed evokes the solar panel and those kind of rigid floating forms, those grids of the panels in the desert. So I designed the installation so that the video is shown on the wall, but also on distributed panels that the audience walks around. So the subject of the work, light hitting photo cells, is repeated in the presentation of the work through projection mapping and installation. Some have this quality of illusion to use projection mapping so that it appears that an object is emitting light. But for me, it's really important to access the projection on a very matter-of-fact level to really feel that light is striking a surface rather than being emitted. The Pollinators is a single-channel video work that studies how bees find food and the color range that insects see, which is further into the ultraviolet than humans. So the video also became about video technology and how to create a violet when video is made of red, green, blue pixels. So part of the project was synthesizing this illusion of violet and ultraviolet using video to create a sense of the way bees see and the way they find flowers. I knew about Sarah's work, her collaborative work, before I met her, so when I met her I was already a fan. And then in 2012, I had the opportunity to work with Sarah as an artist, curated her work into an exhibition. Sarah understands technology almost philosophically as a representation of a societal moment and also the way in which Sarah looks at technology in a continuum over a history of technologies evolving. I see technology as a material within the work. I see it sometimes as subject, but as subject as a kind of analogy for something else. Can projection mapping evolve art? It's a medium without a specific body. And something about that transformation and transposition of forms excites me. And there's this unfolding that something invisible and very small can then be expanded through projection to fill a space, to transform a room, and to create an event, to create a moment in time that people share. Hyundai Motor, connecting art and technology.